Buenas noches amigos, good afternoon, friend and friends, ¿cómo están amiguitos? Y aquí estoy, aquí en la mexicana cocinando, ya sabes, como siempre. Have you noticed that like each mexicana from each region speaks differently? Like in Mexico City, it's like, ay, a carnal, que onda? No manches, wey. That's, el, that's day FA, slash it's not called day FA anymore, it's called la ciudad, okay? And then someone that's in the ranch, así hablan de no sé qué parte, to. Así hablan, así, así. A mí me gusta como hablan así, no sé por qué. And, you know, there's different rhythms and stuff. So it all comes out. I'm from Chiapas, and my family's from Chiapas. I'm from L.A., born and raised, but my family's from Chiapas. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they have a rhythm in Chiapas. I don't, I've never heard it. But anyway, I like the ones that talk like this. Fíjate, mijita, así cuando hablan así, no sé de qué parte de México son, pero me gusta cuando hablan así. Bueno, pues, salud, primer informos, ¿ok? Cheers. Mm. All right, so today I'm going to attempt to make beef tacos, but like uh, top round tacos. I've never made this before, so I was a little, I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, my boyfriend here is scared too. Like, I don't know, he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I wasn't standing in the grocery store like, which meat is it? What? <laughs> so somebody felt sorry for me and said, excuse me, do you need help? And I'm like, oh my god, I do. So anyway, in my mind I thought top round beef was going to be a piece of beef or something, but apparently there are three steaks, okay? So I'm following a few recipes from online, from Food Network and some other peeps. But anyway, I'm combining it. Um, salt and pepper. I'm going to... Fry it here, four minutes each side. And then um, once it's fried, I'm just gonna throw in the onions, like half an onion, four cloves of garlic, you know, the chipotle chili powder, um, some diced tomatoes, paste, a little bit of the tomato paste, a beef broth, but I'm using the better than bouillon beef. This time I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of that And instead of water, you can you have a choice of water, uh, white wine, or beer. And <laughs> you know me, <laughs> I like me my, my my alcohol, my medicine. So I'm gonna do the Negro Modelo para seguir los Mexicanos, la tradición from the country of the country of the peoples. So Modelo, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Did you call me Modelo? <laughs> yes, that's me. I'm a model. So yes, I'm going to once I throw in all that stuff, I don't want to let a scene in. And um, onion sauce, of course, dreaded just 21 seasoning, and um, a little bit of bay leaf in there. And then once I cover it all up, I'm gonna put it in the oven, oven, this oven here, for about uh, three hours. Some say six hours, some say eight. Hell no, I don't have that much fucking time. I'll be dead, okay, I'll be like, So I, that ain't gonna be me, okay? So I'm gonna do three hours, and we'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? We'll see. Salt and pepper here. Salt and, salt, salt, salt and pepper here. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Wish me luck, and I'll show you what, what it looks like, okay? Okay, so that is what I was talking about. This little brown part, it wasn't frying like that in there. It was more like steaming it, which I guess this is what's great for. So now that it's gotten brown there, toasty, toasty, like I like it, then I'm going to put it in here, yeah, 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 okay? This is why you've got to have different tools, you know what I'm saying? So now that's ready to be transferred in here, okay? All right, yes. We're going to save this, baby. We're going to save this. Damn, it smells more fucking good, honey. That's the sound of the oven says it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to add, um, there you have um, the onions, garlic. I added the ends of the cilantro leaves at the end. Not the, not the leaves leaves, but the ends. What are they called? I don't fucking know. Because uh, according to Sandra Lee on uh, Food Network, she says she, it adds flavor. So anyway, gonna, I added that, just a bunch, the half bunch the end of the cilantro, okay, and then I'm going to add the bay leaf there, throw in a couple bay leaves, okay, mmm, smells good, 
damn, that uh, chipotle thing is bomb. Oh, and I'm also going to add a couple of cloves, okay? Um, throw that in there. I'm going to throw some onion salt in there. Just throw it, throw it. Literally just like that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Very dramatico. Very dramatico. And uh, some cumin coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, my favorite, the 21 seasoning. Okay. Then I'm going to add, again, a little bit of that, a little bit of tomato paste, um, some diced tomatoes, and the can of beer. And I'm going to cover it up, and I'm going to cook it in the oven for three hours. I decided three hours. Okay? Happy cooking! All right, guys, so I am roasting these uh, tomatillos instead of putting it in the blender because I just realized that I don't have my Nutribullet to blend or else I would have just put all this raw and then just made it a little bit creamier in the molcajete. So this is ready to be literally put in the molcajete, which is here. Sea salt, cilantro, I'm going to add some lemon, um, this girl on YouTube, um, was, I looked it up because I'm like, oh, damn, I don't have my freaking blender. So I'm going to have to do this in the mocajere from scratch. Um, and that's what it should look like once it's you're ready to put it in the mocajere, which I guess the mocajete, what is it called in English? Mortar and whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I should have uh, this thing. Anyway, you're going to go beep, 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 beep. And with some lime that's um, once you're ready to eat then you can put the avocado in there and just go smash smash away until you get a nice creamy consistency and then you add that on, to, on top of the tacos but the tacos aren't ready they'll be ready in 24 minutes the meat so for now I'm not gonna put the avocado in yet but the rest I will be like you know <laughs> like, oh my god so amazing. You know, this is kind of cool, actually. It tastes really delicious with this. I don't know. It gives it an extra earthy flavor. So I highly recommend you getting this. It's heavy as fuck, but this is authentic, and they used to use this back with my people back in the day, you know? Back in the day, and that's where we're going to. So get used to it, honey, because you don't know what's going to happen in 2020. So get used to getting a skill from scratch, okay? Not depending on electronics, okay? Anyway, okay, bye. Go back to your roots, baby. Go back to your roots, honey. This is how you do what you do when you have no blender, because I forgot mine at work, <laughs> my Nutribullet. So, a la cabrona, wey. Vámonos. Wow. All right. So, this is after... So, at first, I put it for three hours, and I'm like, mm, let me put it for another hour, just because I felt like it wasn't juicy enough. And so this is about three and a half hours. Yeah. Imagine seven to eight hours. It would be even better, right? But I'm already hungry, so fuck that shit. So this is very fucking good. I really was concerned because I didn't know that it would come out like this. But damn, like it literally does come off. Like, I And it doesn't even have bone. I saw another YouTube video that it had like actual bone and a real steak. This is from Publix, which is, I mean, this is as organic as it gets from that store, which they don't have that much organic stuff. But imagine if you get it from the freaking butcher or like, you know, like organic, real big ass steak. It would be even better. But this in itself, this isn't about, it's almost about two pounds. I got it for 15 bucks at Publix, which is kind of like a Ralph's in LA. And so far, this is like, wow. Like, look, it comes off. Oof, honey. For the first time, honey, this is, this is very good. Okay, I'm ready for my tacos, honey. And I'm also going to, um, the scallions, you know, usually when I make carne asada, well, not I make, but carne asada tacos, I love, like, frying the scallions and sucking the ends off with the tacos. There's my tortillas, my little taco tortillas that I got the last end of it. So happy cooking, people. Yes, honey.